Jesus Christ is Lord. And one day your knee will bow. Saints of God, we're in the last hour. And you better be getting right with the Lord. The word of God says before Christ returns, the Antichrist will rise up and wage war against the saints and overcome them. I also want you to know that in the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25, it says, He shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. You see that? Is he not speaking evil of Christ? What do you think is going on with Netflix coming out with a movie promoting Jesus as a homosexual with a boyfriend? This is not a game. Have you ever considered that when Daniel prophesied that he would wear out the saints, he's not just talking about persecuting them and hunting them down, but wearing them out mentally as well. By mind control, subliminal messages, through TV shows and movies, turning and trying to mold your mind to worship another Jesus. Not the God that we know, but another gospel. Paul warned us in Corinthians. Netflix is a billion dollar beast company promoting homosexuality. Daniel says that the Antichrist will not desire a woman. Even if he has a wife, by nature he will be a sodomite. But Netflix also promotes the Luciferian agenda. Remember with Black Mirror, which is really a code name for Scrying Mirror, a witchcraft mirror, they had an episode promoting social credit. And China literally tried to enforce this. Have you seen the facial recognition in China? The B system in China? You can't take a dump at a local toilet without getting your face scanned, y'all. And this is coming worldwide, saints. You better wake up. But let's talk about this new movie, Messiah, that just came out from Netflix. First off, you know how much evil Netflix promotes, but did you know they picked up the Lucifer show? And of course, if they're going to have a Lucifer, they got to have themselves a Messiah. Can't you see what's going on? You think it's odd and it's a coincidence? All these celebrities and so-called musicians that are now doing it for Jesus... They're being used as part of the agenda. This is why the famous musicians and the famous people of the days of Nebuchadnezzar were the ones that played music to get the people to bow down and worship the image of Nebuchadnezzar. It was a warning. God was giving us a foreshadow that the celebrities and the musicians and all of these people would try to cause all the masses To bow their knee to the Antichrist without even knowing it. So did you know that not only did Netflix take on the Lucifer show. But even in one of the latest episodes of The Flash. They go to visit Lucifer for help. Can you imagine this? You better have your house in order brother. But saints of God, let's talk about something. So what would be the odds that Netflix comes out with one of the most blasphemous movies promoting a homosexual Jesus to mock us and to mock our God, just like the days of Goliath. But now they've come out with a movie or a show, I should say. But now they've come out with a series called Messiah. Now, what would be the odds that they would buy out the Lucifer show, mock Jesus Christ as a homosexual, and then turn around and promote another Messiah? Remember, Jesus warned us and said, many Christ shall arise. He didn't just mean out in the desert only, but on TV, on social media. There's many Christ arising. He said, many shall come in my name. But 
let's take an in-depth study of this so-called Messiah. Now, what is their plan? Why? What was the agenda coming out with this show? Because Muslims are up in a debate wondering, is this the Dajjal, the Antichrist? Is this the al Masih? Who is this? Christians, if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, this character has nothing to do with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But let's go ahead and break this down. I took the time and I skimmed through all 10 episodes so I could expose this trash for what it is. Now, they make it very attractive. The graphics, the acting, the healings, the miracles. It's a very attractive series. But it's designed to pre-program your mind. Just like they did with 9-11, with The Simpsons, and even in The Matrix, and all these shows and cartoons. They were pre-programming people about 9-11 and they didn't even know it. So as I was in the spirit and I watched it not for entertainment, I had a notepad and a pen taking notes of things I wanted to warn y'all about. Now, it really don't matter if Netflix is promoting this show as the actual Messiah or if he's going to turn around and end up being the Antichrist or what they call the Dajjal. But what would be the odds that the actor that plays the role of Messiah, his name is Mahdi, sounds just like the word Mahdi. And the Mahdi is the Islamic savior who brings peace to the world for, I believe, a total of seven years. And what would be the odds that the Antichrist reigns for seven years? Saints, I'm telling you, things are unfolding. But let's go ahead and break down and let's see what Netflix's agenda really is. Because let's start off with the title, Messiah. Notice that the letter A is not an A, but rather a pyramid. And I'm going to skip through certain things that I wrote down as I skip through all 10 episodes. First off, this Messiah comes from Islam, calling on Allah. Now, there's a lot of Christians who think the, the name Allah just simply means God. But those that are well-educated know that that is not the case. You can't call the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob Allah. You can't do it. No more than you could call Jesus Baal or Baal. No more than you could call Jesus Baal. You see? But he also goes on to say in the show that there is no deity but Allah. This is subliminal programming to promote the Quran. And if there's any out there that are Muslim, you need to repent and come out of that and follow the son of the living God. Now, there are some great debaters, one by the name of Christian Prince. You can look up Christian Prince debates. Now, I do want to make a disclaimer that I am not promoting him as a teacher of Christianity because, sadly, he does promote Roman Catholicism. But as far as debating the Quran, he is very gifted. So I want you to go ahead and study his videos if you are a Muslim, where he proves without a shadow of a doubt that the Quran is false. Now this Messiah not only quotes out of the Quran and prays to Allah and not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but this Messiah even strikes people on the face. In the show, he smites an imam. He tells all the people to bury all their weapons as if he's a man of peace. But we know in Daniel 11, he will enter in peaceably. You see? Now, Daniel's talking about the Antichrist. Notice that this Messiah in this show is leading the Palestinians back to the land of Israel. What I found very intriguing in the show, this Messiah, quote unquote, says he was originally a Jew. But in Daniel 11.37, when speaking about the Antichrist, it says, watch this. Neither shall he, the Antichrist, 
regard the God of his fathers as capital G. That means it has to be the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This means that somehow the Antichrist will have a connection either by bloodline or by tradition to the Hebrews or the Jews or what is known as the Jews. He also says in this move, in this show, and in this show, this Messiah is called the word of Allah, which is also promoted in the Quran. As you move on, now we know that the true Messiah, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died on a cross, shed his blood and rose from the dead, the actual factual historical Messiah is the true word of God. Not this false Messiah out of the Quran who supposedly never died on a cross, who is just a prophet. This is a lie. He is more than a prophet. But in episode two, notice how they promote the Christian church as dead. Your few people walking in, the pastor's hopeless, his wife's an alcoholic, his daughter smokes cigarettes, gets pregnant and has abortions. It's a way of mocking Christianity as a weak religion who has no God. That, in fact, there's an episode where they even spray paint that on the church building. And I don't care about spoiler alerts. It's a stupid show that promotes satanic agenda to begin with. So yes, it was spoiled before it even got alerted. Spoiled rotten. But towards the end of the show, of the season, he burns down the church. That's symbolic. There's a part where this so-called Messiah enters in um, towards the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. He promotes the unification of all people, just like the Antichrist will do. One of the Israeli soldiers shoots and kills a boy and he raises him back to life. And remember in Revelation 13, it says whose deadly wounds were healed. The Imams conspire against this so-called Messiah, just like the Pharisees conspired against Jesus. And what's very slick that Netflix has done is they've merged Christian lingo in with the show with the Islamic lingo. To merge them together as the agenda of the New World Order and to deceive the simple and uneducated Christians who are not close to Christ. Even Rick Warren and these, these heretics promoted Chrislam, uniting Catholic Christians and Islam together as part of the, as a part of the New World Order Saints, the ecumenical movement. You better get right with God because we're running out of time. When they ask him what religion he is, he simply says, I walk with all men. And of course, they, it, it sounds so inspiring in the show, right? I mean, they make the show very well. Great graphics, great acting, the miracles. It's a very attractive show. But rat poison is attractive to the rodents. And it's 90% food, 10% poison. But that's all it takes to kill them. It don't take much for the enemy to put into your brain. You see, I want to show you something in Daniel chapter 7 that I don't think people are meditating on enough. When it talks about the Antichrist in verse 25, it says, And he, the Antichrist, shall speak great words against the Most High. Is he not doing that now through Netflix, through social media, through all types of uh, different outlets? Mocking Christ as a homosexual? Is that not speaking evil great words against Christ? But he also says here, he shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And I was meditating on this. I don't believe that means just physically, like warring against the children of God, hunting them down, like Revelation says, he will war against the saints and overcome them. I believe he also wears against the minds of the saints. By manipulating them through the TV shows and programming them and putting subliminal messages to wear them out mentally to turn them away from the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you ever considered that? I'm speaking to you in the spirit. Do you have ears to hear? 
Another thing in this 10 part series is there are times where this so-called Messiah will appear to this other young man but he always appears as a woman first and then he transforms into the man Messiah. This is Baphomet programming. Half man, half woman. And there's also some sodomite agenda there. But he also walks on water in the show, just as our savior did. He makes a very bold statement in the show and he says, returning to your scriptures can't save you. But my in your Bible says, the word of God is able to save our souls. He mentions a thousand years of peace, just like the word of God does. And in this show, the president of America is a Mormon. And he goes on to promote Mormonism and honors it, this so-called Messiah. You see, it's all about bringing in world peace because he mentions world peace in the show. Saints of God, can't you see the agenda? They come out with a, a movie mocking our Lord by promoting him as a homosexual and then following after that they promote Islam and the Messiah according to Islam. Now are they promoting the Mahdi, the Dajjal? Who are they promoting? Well I mean this is only part one of this so-called series and people are eating it up. They're eating it up right out of the pig's trough. Saints of God. These shows and these TV uh, series and these video games and these music, they're all being used to wear out the saints mentally, to subconsciously alter us. That's why you got to stay from it and stay in your word. Evil communication corrupts good manners. In the last episode, I think it's uh, chapter 10 of this series, the plane goes down and this Messiah doesn't have a scratch on him and he's raising people back from the dead. So whether he's the Dajjal, the Mahdi, and what would be the odds that the man who plays the role of the Messiah in this show, his name is Mahdi. Almost identical to Mahdi. To Mah the Mahdi. Right? So I expose this satanic agenda and I'm warning you right now, they're mocking our savior and then turning around and promoting Islam and promoting another Jesus who we do not know, like Paul said. Netflix, you satanic company. You may be a laughing Goliath, but David, a greater David is coming to slay you. All you satanic companies, you're going to go hide just like the Bible prophesies. They will hide in the rocks. They will hide in the earth from the wrath of the Lamb. So you can go ahead and mock and make your shows and promote your agenda. But you can't stop the return of the Messiah. Saints of God, help spread this video to expose this satanic agenda. And let's not be shocked when satanic companies do satanic things. Some of y'all went a little too far signing a petition to boycott the show off of net the movie off of netflix about the homosexual jesus we know that ain't our jesus that's a false jesus they can mock all they want they can't stop the living god from spreading the gospel on the earth but you see when you put your name and you sign that petition you, when you sign that petition you marked yourself so you need to get under the shadow and the wings of the most high god we're not here to sign petitions. We're here to get into prayer and fasting against the principalities and powers. So saints of God, be aware, be alert, and don't go run into every trend and everything because you don't want the satanic agenda and the antichrist to wear you out mentally, to slowly change your way of thinking, to corrupt you, to turn your back on the true Messiah and start serving a false messiah. Stay alert. We love you all so much. To our partners, thank you for your prayers and support. Please help spread this video. In Jesus Christ's name, bless.